I'm Bill Hunter. I'm the founder and CEO of Sato Construction. And I'm here with Sean Green. He's our safety director. And we're gonna give you a short video to try to explain how to shoot a benchmark to check a grade. So get a little imagination here and imagine that this is a tripod with a level on top. And we're gonna we're gonna adjust this and get this level, and we're gonna shoot a grade on a grade rod and we're going to establish our height of instrument all right we're going to set up this this uh sight level and your tripod uh first thing you want to do open it up uh, open the legs up and you want to adjust them to the right height by right height i mean the height for you that you're going to shoot at so you don't want it too high you want it uh just right so uh, it's comfortable for you to shoot your shoot your grade, shoot your benchmark. So you want to get it level, in a level spot. Then you want to push the legs down and secure it. Uh, you're going to want to get your sight level. You want to secure it to the to the tripod. Do that by. This little screw, lining it up. Thing after you get your, your sight level secure, uh, screwed down, you're gonna wanna look through your uh, instrument and, and get it level. Uh, the way you get it level is by adjusting it um, with, the, with these knobs, and you'll see a little bubble on the side of this instrument, and you wanna get that, that, that bubble right in the circle. So after you've got that bubble in the circle, uh, you're going to want to twist the, the, the sight level around uh, a couple times and make sure that that bubble stays in the center. After that, you know you have your, your level secure and uh, you know you have it actually level so you're going to be ready to shoot your benchmark. And we're going to establish our height of instrument. And how we do that is we shoot to a known elevation. And the known elevation in this case, it's gonna be a concrete benchmark. And we wanna use concrete benchmarks. We wanna use something that's solid and won't move because in a lot of instances, your benchmark moves and you're gonna have a lot of trouble because of that. In this case, we're gonna use an elevation of 660, which is our benchmark elevation that's been given to us. We're going to shoot on top of that, and we're going to read that elevation off the grade rod. So in this case, this hypothetical case, we're going to say that we shot an elevation of 520 on our grade rod. So we're going to have to add that 520 to the benchmark elevation of 660, and that's going to give us an elevation, which we call the HI, the height of instrument, of 665.20. Okay, so we know that this elevation right here on your instrument level is a 665.20. Now we can turn around and we can shoot anything on that job site and read it off that grade rod and we can establish what that grade is at that point. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to shoot the invert of the pipe that we laid yesterday. We're starting for the day. We want to establish what that elevation of that pipe was to see if possibly it got off grade yesterday while working. So we're going to take that grade rod and again we're going to place it down in the invert of that pipe and in this instance we're going to shoot a hypothetical 735 on that grade rod. Mm -hmm. So we've shot this invert. It reads 735 on that rod. We know that this elevation is 665.20, so we're going to subtract that 735 from that 665.20. Use a calculator. You're going to come up with a 657.85. That 657.85 is the invert of that pipe. We're going to take that invert elevation. 
We're going to compare it to our plans of where we need to be. If it's off, we'll make adjustments to the pipe, to the laser, make that adjustment, and move forward, start laying pipe for the day. That's basic, basically how you set your instrument up and you establish elevations on the site.